This is News Hour on Atlantic TV. I'm Samuel Esther. On today's stories, cash policy will stop vote buying, says INEC. Court bans MCO Luomo from distributing INEC materials. And the foreign scene, 294 people injured from Turkey earthquake. On entertainment, portable performs in a petrol station. The head of voters' education, INEC River State, Mark Osulo has said that 2023 elections would hold without bags of money at the polling units, stressing that same would be the case during the Saturday's presidential and National Assembly polls. He stated this yesterday at a national roundtable on the roadmap to a credible and violent free election. He further assured voters that INEC had concluded plans to conduct credible elections in River State urging all candidates and politicians to play by the rules of the game. Osula noted that the Saturday election would be free and fair, adding that the new monetary policy of the federal government has saved the process of vote buying. The Federal High Court sitting in Lagos yesterday restrained the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from engaging al Haji Musli Wakin Soya, popularly known as MC Luomo, or any of the agents or drivers of the Lagos State Parks Management Committee, which he leads, from distributing INEC materials in Lagos State. Justice Chukwe Jeku and AK made the other following a motion on notice brought by the Labour Party and five other applicants on the grounds that their legal rights to a free and fair election in Lagos State were being severely threatened and that damages would not be an adequate remedy. After hearing the motion moved by the plaintiff's counsel, Mr. Abbas Ibrahim, Justice Aneke adjourned the matter till February 22 for hearing of the substantive suit and hearing notice to be served on the respondent immediately. We'll go for a break. More to come after this. Welcome back. On the foreign scene, six people have died in an earthquake that struck the border region of Turkey and Syria on Monday. Just two weeks after a larger quake killed more than 47,000 people and destroyed thousands of homes. A rescue team was seen climbing a ladder to gain access into one building where some people had been trapped after the latest tremor. Reuters reported that the quake struck while people were in the already damaged building to retrieve possessions before it was demolished. Turkish Health Minister Faretin Koka said 294 people that were injured on Monday evening's earthquake, with 18 seriously hurt, have been transported to hospitals in Adana and Dotiol. On entertainment, street hop artist Habib Okikiola, also known as Portable, has given an energetic performance at a petrol station. Portable, during his visit to Oyo State, made a stop at a filling station where he organized an impromptu music show for the people. A video making rounds on social media captured Dr. Zeb mounting a diesel pump, which he used as a stage to give an exhilarating performance. Residents out to buy fuel for their cars and generators were thrown into frenzy, while the Zazu Krona sang with his signature dance moves. That will be all for now on News Hour. For more stories, kindly visit our website, www.atlantictv.org. And do also follow us across all our social media platforms displayed on your screen. Thank you for watching.